Hey everybody, Oko here, and welcome back to our playthrough of Final Fantasy XI. So, we're starting off our adventures here in Mora. Uh, I just wanted to show you a few things I did off-screen, a few uh, items that I got. Uh, so, I I got with my Records of Eminence a, a Vehemence Ring to replace the Sun Ring. Uh, the Sun Ring was a plus 3 strength. This one's only a plus 2, but it does have the attack plus 10, which is more useful to me than the uh, fire elemental damage or whatever the other sun ring had, which wasn't very useful. And uh, I also bought... Uh, where is it? Yeah, this one. Uh, no, no, that one. Yeah, here. Kingdom Sinyet Staff, which I believe will let us cast Sinyet on ourselves. A lot of the places we're going in the upcoming expansions uh, are going to be taking us really far away from home for long periods of time, so I thought that might come in handy. I don't know. It might not be something we end up using. It doesn't take very long. Anywhere where there's a crystal, you can quickly get back home. And But anyway. And plus, I don't know how much I need to worry about the uh, CP points from here on, but I, mean, I guess there's going to be more armor and stuff we're going to want. So. so, anyway, yeah, that's what we're going to work on. So, here we are. Uh, this is where we board the ferry. Uh, to go to the Empire of Atragon, which is uh, the destination for our next adventures. So I'm not sure who I talked to to get the ticket. Uh, the ship is 100 per person. Do you want to board the ferry? Um, hold on, I want to show you something first. So let's just go over things quickly. Is it missions? Atragon? A land of new adventures lies in the east of... Mindarsha. What splendors and terrors await the curious? And I also wanted to show this. So this was... Where is it? Yeah, the boarding permit we received in Juno, I think it was. So that's what we're going to be using. That's why we're able to buy this ticket in the first place. Just to refresh our memory. I guess this is the one. Thank you very much. 100 gil, that's a good deal. That's pretty cheap. How can the airship one as well? I guess because this is on water. I guess that's what's happening. Um, Grimer and Zexu. I'm bored. Maybe I should move to a city and a country with a little more life. Say, how are things where you come from? Hey, she's back again. Every day she stands there and waits for her husband to return. Yeah, breaks me out to see her. How long's it been since he disappeared, you think? Where it is, pirates got him. Yeah, if it was them, there's no chance in hell he's still alive, poor woman. Aww. Where is she? Mm, I don't know where she is. We'll talk to her, I guess, later. Uh, De Yamosia. The ship's bound for Al Zabi is now departing. Is that where I want to go? I don't think that's where I want to go. I don't want to go to Al Zabi. Do I? I'm confused. Hold on. I guess that is the right one. Whoa! Oh my god, we just missed it. <laughs> Wow, I can't believe we... Oh, anyway, I'll just wait for the next one. No big deal, but... <laughs> I thought it was going to say the ship was bound for Atragon. Not... Al-Zabi. Anyway. Ugh. Well, we'll just wait for the next boat. Look, I'm looking at the Conquest map right now. Look at what is going on over in Sandoria. I can't believe this. Look at this. Ron 4 is just completely dominated by Windurst. Windurst is kicking butt. Well done, yeah. And then Bastok's doing well too. Yeah, I don't know what is up with Sandoria right now. <laughs> we have one little area here that we're controlling. <clears throat> I don't even know where that is. I don't think I've even been there. Anyway, we're still waiting for the ferry. <coughs> there was one ferry that came along, but that one was going to Selbina. Always make sure you talk to the person on the dock to make sure you're getting on the right ship. That would have been a disaster if I'd gone to the wrong place. 
No, it's her. I wonder if we can just talk to her from down here. Oh, hello. I'm waiting for my husband. He's a sailor. I'll be fine. I'm used to waiting. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And there's also stuff down here. Oh, but nothing right now. Last we are off, to the Far East, to begin our adventures in Atragon, so this should be fun. Brand new expansion to start. We've got new job classes to look for, new monsters, new maps to explore, and treasures to find, of course. And this time we're not going by air, but we're going by sea. I guess it would have been smart to bring my fishing rod. I didn't think to do that. Mm -hmm. well, I guess we can't go on the top deck in this one. Oh, we can. Let's see, let's explore the ship a little bit, I guess. Anything over here? Yes, looks like there's a vendor here. What do you have here? Lugworms. Sa Sabiki rig? Fishing tackle. All races of fishing apparatus comprised of several baited hooks designed for catching small fish. Minnow, sinking minnow, taro taro fishing rod, Bethel marlin. Hmm. Well, I don't think I need any of that stuff, but good to know. What was that? Oh. The inner workings of the ship. <clears throat> So there are some creatures out here. Goo goo crab. <laughs> Just for fun. Might as well get the full experience. We'll probably only make this journey once on the ship, right? Once we get our home point, there's really no reason to do it again. Let's see somebody up there we can talk to? All right, Adaben. We are on our way to El Zabi. We should arrive in about five hours, which is 13 minutes in Earth time. Wow, that's a long time. 13 minutes, holy smokes. Wow, we're going far away. Well, I'm probably not gonna make you guys watch all of this. I think what I'm gonna do is actually just go down and hang out below deck. Um, I'm just going to check out, I'm just going to look on the Final Fantasy XI uh, online encyclopedia just to check some of these items that this guy sells. Or her, I guess it's a she, right? <clears throat> yeah, I'm just going to look up some of these other items and find out if they're worth uh, purchasing for anything. I bought one just just so I could sort of have it. It is uh, a, a, a guild test item for one of the levels, so I guess I can always use it for that if I can't catch one on my own, but I don't think that's really going to be a problem. Oh, by the way, I randomly picked up this blue pondweed, I think from our Mog Garden, 
And I looked that up, and that is actually something that's used to uh, draw in a notorious monster in a particular location. So that's actually a nice find, because I'm going to be wanting to do a whole bunch of those later in the series. So yeah, I'm going to hold on to that blue pond weed. I'm going to put that in our mod safe where it's nice safe. I'll let you guys all know once we've uh, arrived back on land in, in Port al -Zabi. I guess we may as well wait outside. So we can get some fresh air. Oh, there's a new monster. An ocean jagal. Colorful. from it, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll let you guys know once we've arrived. Yeah, there's a map up here we can look at, but it doesn't show much. <laughs> that's There it is, Mora East. LZ. It doesn't show us where we are, though, on the map, but anyway, he's telling us we're almost there. I don't see anything. Let's fight another crab while we're waiting. Who knows? Maybe there's some incredible drop that you can get from these. It's just, just really rare. You never know in this game. All right, so a new area, the At Organ White Gate. Yeah, I've heard a lot about this place, but never been here. In this playthrough or any other one for that matter. Thank you for your patience. The ship has now arrived and is ready for boarding. All right, so of course with the new area, we get new music. So, who do we have here? The first person we're talking to, Kaf Jifan, is a vendor. Dried date, Aeron, which is like a yogurt. Wildgrass seeds, so those are always useful, but I get those from the green thumb moogle. Balak Sandvichi, I, some sort of meat sandwich, it says. Raptor, that's a bard thing, and an empire waystone. All right. Um... We get out this way. Zarfid, I would like to enter the town. Would you like to enter? Yes, I would. If I could just move. So, we do not have a map for this area, but I believe the map vendor is around here. In fact, this... No, Zwinham. No, we're looking for someone named... Re... Riadoff. Um... Let's talk to this little sweetheart right here. Ak Jarkum. Meow, 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 talu, talu, lu, meow. Meow, meow, what a beautiful day. The adults said they wouldn't tell me their secret, but I found out anyway. Now I can sneak around town by a hidden west way. <laughs> I'd better write this down before I forget. I need some parchment, meow. How am I supposed to remember the secret now? I wish I had a sheet of parchment and a jar of black ink. Mm, I think I have both those things in my mug. In my, uh. In my safe. So I might be able to give those to her. Moronk Sajuli. 
Hi there, Tomcat. You look trustworthy enough. Got a minute to spare? Uh, I like where this is going. That's the ardor I was looking for. Then it's time to talk about the undersea ruins of Al-Zadal that lie at the western edge of the Araja continent. In other words, around here. Stop me if you've already heard about it and the remnants that dot the landscape within. Uh, no, please tell me more. No? Have you been living under a rock all these years? I can't believe my eyes would fail me for this fool. Oh, he was, she was sort of thinking that, I think, or whispering it. Let's get you up to speed before you become a cat's paw. There are four remnants within the ruins of Al-Zadal. Zayom, Arapago, Baflau, and Silversea. Some fat cats thought they collected all they could long ago and abandoned the remnants. But there's still lots more to salvage down there. Oh. She gave us some plans. Here's an example of what you can dig up in the ruins. I'd be searching all over the realm for it. I like your face, lover boy. Oh, she was just showing us that. She didn't actually give it to us. <laughs> so I'll let you in on a little secret. People have found certain pieces of equipment that resonate with these artifacts. If you find any, show them to me and I'll sweeten your kitty. Oh, but let's keep this a secret from Ganrom, shall we? Otherwise, I'll tear your throat out and leave it on my master's doorstep. Bad kitty. Bad. Here is Nanurun, who's an interesting looking aardvark or something. Nanurun carry cargo, you see. Heavy cargo. Large cargo every day. No rest for Nanurun. Nunarun came to Al Zabi port and the peoples gave Nunarun work, you see. Everyone's so nice. Nunarun liked to thank everyone. But so many ships. Every day more work. Nunarun always busy. Okay, a Porter Moogle. So is this. How. No, this is someone that holds things. No, I don't want to do any Porter stuff. We need a Nomad Moogle to get access to our safe. All right, let's talk to a few more people around here. Here's here's Riadoff. I think this is the map vendor. Riadoff, this looks kind of cute. How about a magic map to help you on your adventures? Um, this one, Al Zabi. Yeah, we definitely want that. Um, what else? We might as well buy some other maps while we're here. Um, okay, we want this one, Nashmau. Um... We got this one, Halvong. We want that. And we want this one too, the Arapago Reef. Ah, uh, what else do we want? Uh, we want this one, Cadavra Meyer. We're probably just going to buy all of these, I would think. I'm just sort of looking, yeah, what's coming up. So, uh, we, this one, map of... Well, I'm just going to probably buy them all. Ugh, I just don't know if we have enough money. Uh... Yeah, I want this one too, the map of the... Bafflow thickets. Definitely want that one. That's close. Alzadal. I'll do this one too. Alzadal ruins. If we can afford it. No, we don't have enough gill. So that one's going to have to wait. Okay. We'll get more money. What are we left with? I guess I shouldn't have bought that uh, mackerel on the ship, but whatever. All right, but we did well there. We got a lot of information and content. Uh, what's this other vendor, I wonder? Uh, 
uh, cool Amarillo. What do you sell? Crayfish, Yellen Bala Beligi, Sazen Beligi, Kaya Beligi, and an Ala Beligi. I guess the Beligi just is fish. Okay, let's walk around and do a little more exploring. We've got to find a home crystal somewhere. So now we got a map. So yeah, there we go. There we go. Where do we want to go? Well, there's pretty much everything here that a regular town would have. I see lots of home points glowing all over the place. Looks like there's one in the opposite direction of where we're pointed right now. Let's see if we can go that way. Maybe I should just go get back to uh, Sandoria by waypoint and just get some money. Well, I won't worry about that yet. Here's another one of those creepy little things. Tedarun. Tedarun at your service. Tedarun is mercenary. Three cheers for the Empress. Just a little juke. Haha. Uh -huh. Hilarious. Alright, there we go. There's our first home point. We've made the journey. Now it's set in stone. As it were. What I'm going to do is set this as my home point. And I'll go back and get some money. Okay, so just sold a whole bunch more mandular sickles. Now we got 50 grand, 50,000 grand. So I'm just gonna go back and buy probably the remainder of those maps. I might as well just buy them all. Why not? Yeah, the maps will never not be useful, right? So you might as well just pay it. All right, I'm just gonna go for all of them. I'm just doing it. Toraimurai Canal, the Luganon Palace, Labyrinth of Onzozo, Ulagurand Range. Old Ton Novolopolis. Newton Movolopolis. Map of Altaïe. I've heard of that before. That might not even be part of this, uh... That might not even be part of this expansion. I'm not sure. What was the one that we really needed for sure? This one. Yeah, I think I might be buying maps from other expansions, so I better be careful here. I don't want to spend too much. Well, we're almost done. Well, these ones are 30,000 each, though. I guess I'll just finish buying the 3,000 ones or something. Yeah, we'll just do that. Map of, so that was Huck, Huckzoi, Rumet. Yeah, some of these might be part of the Seekers of uh, Adulin or the Wings of the Goddess expansions, I'm not sure. Although I'm pretty sure those 30,000 ones are for the Wings of the Goddess. Wajom Woodlands. A Diwa Subterrain. Mamuk. So that's it. I'm going to leave these ones because they're 30,000 each. That would be 60,000. We don't even have that much. So there we go. Now we're all stocked up. Um, now there's so much to do, and ugh, I think I'm just gonna directly head to where we really need to go, which is very close to here. Um, yeah, it's sort of in this area here, We're the, the Serpent King Square. I think that's where we want to go, right? No. We're going to a store. It's a store, actually, right in around this area, and it is called... Salahim Sentinels. Hmm, so how are we going to get to that, though? 
Hmm. So this is... Apparently it's on a top floor. Let's go up. Where does this go? That goes that way. I want to go to that... See if I can go to that tower. Let's see what's over here. Mm-hmm. I think this might be it. Salahim Sentinels. There it is. Good. Let's not waste any time. Let's enter. And here's someone. Abkuba. And this is Naja Salahim. I've heard of her before. What are you doing standing around here? You're just getting in the way. Can't you see how busy I am? What's your deal, anyway? You got business with me? Nope. Never seen you before. Your lack of fashion sense, your slack-jawed face, and that slouching posture? You can't possibly be from around these parts. You're a foreigner, aren't you? Sorry? Heh <laughs> I knew it. You're just the type of person I've been looking for. So you came to be a mercenary, did you? Hmm... Okay, sure. That's the intent. Sure, why not? I'm a mercenary. Now you're speaking my language. Your long journey has been worthwhile. We've been waiting for you. Most of our work is official empire business. In fact, we're the only mercenary organization in all of Al Zabi that the royal family puts its trust in. We're the best of the best, the cream of the crop. But you won't get any lucrative offers just finishing up grunt work. So don't go thinking you can slack off. Now do you get it? First, you gotta show me what you're made of. And she hands us a supplies package. Key item. There's a prominent organization in this nation called the Immortals. Ever heard of them? Mothers here use stories of the Immortals to scare their kittens into eating their vegetables. The Immortals are the Empress's personal bodyguards, and they only hire the best of the best blue mages around. Common folk like us aren't even allowed a glimpse of Her Royal Highness. But the Immortals? They're different. They have special permission to attend to the Empress at close quarters. Is this sinking into that thick skull of yours? In other words, you can't get anywhere in this nation without going through the Immortals first. So before you do anything else, I need, a, I need you to go deliver this supplies package and make yourself known. If you manage to make it back alive, we can start thinking about what to do with you. The Immortals guard the Empress, ensure the safety of Al-Zabi, and manage affairs dealing with assault. Each assault warden is stationed at a staging point in the Ilrusi Atoll, Dvuka Isle, Halvang, in the domain of the Mamul Ja, or on Azuf Isle. No matter how high and mighty the Immortals are, I'm sure they're tired of being stuck out in the middle of nowhere with nothing to do. They'll probably be glad to see ya. Go deliver this supplies package and let them know who ya are. After that, we can start talking about your contract. Alright, so we obtained the supplies package and that's what we're going to do. So we're going to be heading to those areas that she just mentioned. And we, of course, have the maps for all those areas, so it's nothing to worry about. I'm gonna do a little research and figure out what is the best thing to buy, uh, best place to go first, and in what order. We'll be right back. Let's just go start exploring this new town. Oh yeah, we didn't get a chance to talk to this guy, Abkuba. Me? Yes, I'm here to answer all your mercenary questions. Is there anything you'd like to know before we get started? Mercenaries are at the mercy of President Na. Ah, uh, that is to say, your road to the top depends on your dedication. 
Once your mercenary rank starts to rise, so will the size of your bonuses. Not that I've seen anyone receive a bonus lately. You'll make a fortune, really. Fortune is such a relative word, though. Hmm, seems like we're reading minds a lot more in the story than we did before. Is that what that means when it's in brackets like that? Alright, well, it's daytime now. Um... Yeah, so let's just uh, wander around and explore more of this town. There's a few little things I want... Well, we want to look... Explore the whole place. And we'll try and do it as quickly as we can. We'll just run around. So we'll, let's go back to where we've already kind of looked around. What's in here? Oh, is this just another tunnel? Yes, it looks like it. So, let's see, what's this? Ironbound gate, can't open that. Oh, go to the Wajam Woodlands, oh, okay. So this is how we get out, so that's good to know. That's one of the areas we eventually want to go, for sure. But we went down here where the save point was, and um... So I see a Gobi Goblin. I don't think we have 50 points yet. No, we just did it the other day. So here's someone we can talk to, Hugo. Good day, I'm a merry map marker and I'd be emphatically ecstatic if you would allow me to mark your magical map. A markless map of al -Zabi is like a motherless maiden. Mark me up. Minstrel of Melodies. Yeah, we don't want to talk to him. <laughs> Pursuvant? Or... That name's familiar. Haven't we talked to a Pursuvant before? Armor Depository. Local weather. Yeah, that's always good to know. Item depository, where you can store much of your festive furniture. Hmm. So does that mean it's a, a nomad moogle? I'm not sure. Hmm. No people. It didn't give us specific people to talk to, did he? Anyway, so this is the crystal that we've already activated. So here is the uh, the Atragon White Gate version of. The Mog House. So here, yeah, brand new type of Mog House to check out. Let's give a little look around. Let's see if we have access to all our stuff. Looks like we do. So let me see here. I know that I had black ink somewhere. There it is. Parchment, though. We can make parchment if we had... Is it sheep leather or something like that? Hmm. Yeah, it was sheep leather and rollin' berry, and I have one rollin' berry, so we have one attempt at it, so... We'll just do it. We'll try it. And that was with... A dark... Oh, oh, I don't think I have any dark crystals, do I? I think I used those up, but I do... Oh, I have a few. That's good. Okay, let's see if we can do this successfully. Um, we did it pretty much perfectly every other time we did it. Good thing I had just happened to have one rolling berry left. That's pretty incredible. I was just was hanging on to that for some reason. All right. All right, don't let us down. Okay, good. So there we are. So we can give the girl what she wants. So there's our black ink and parchment. All right, and that's it. And that's how we can come here and save when we're doing our Atragon missions and missionary work. We'll be able to come here. Or mercenary work, I mean to say. We'll be able to come here. Um, yes, we're heading outside.
I guess there's not much more to do in this little section. So I'm gonna go back this way, go to that girl to give her her things. And then we'll head over to this area, I guess, where all the weapons and armor shops are. There's also a tea house here, Shararat Tea House. Yeah, so let's do that. Um, yeah, this way. Nope, that goes back. We want to go east, not west. Who's this? Kakaroon. What do you sell? Cheap info. Alright, so here's a little girl. She's the one that wanted the things that we just happened to have. Parchment and black ink. For me? Meow. Now I'll be able to remember my secret. Ak Jarkum begins furiously scribbling a map of town with a giant X covering a certain place. Beautiful! Mom will be so proud of me. <laughs> Meow? You saw, didn't you, mister? Meow, I confess. Grr, what a nosy person. And you have the nerve to meow me on top of everything? Grr. Oh well, you gave me the parchment in the first place, so I guess I have to forgive you. You can't tell anyone about this. Cross your heart. Meow. You have learned your way through the back alleys of Al Zabi. Now you can exit to any area from your residence. Oh, that's who that was all about. Yeah. The other parts of the world where we did that, we, we had to give her things like flowers or rocks and things like colored rocks, I think. This is the section where there's lots of shops to buy things and there's this tea house which we could explore, but we're not going to go there yet because the story is going to make us go there anyway soon. So I'm just going to hold off on that. I'll just walk around and talk to any random people who are hanging around, collect some information. Here's one person. This is Shashosho. The thundering roars, the gleaming fangs. There's nothing like a good tussle between critters. I must have sent a thousand petitions to the palace to get this place opened. Guess I finally became too annoying to ignore. And this is the pit. Hmm, I'm tempted to check this out. It sounds kind of fun. No. We'll get to it eventually. We don't have time right now. Dubba. Dubba. Looks like me. Have you ever heard of Marrow? I chanced upon one the other day. I had my equipment stripped right off my body. I must confess that I was rather embarrassed. Boy, did she pack a punch. Not that I have anything against strong women. <laughs> I know when it's not safe to be around a woman any longer. So being the sensible man I am, I took off like lightning. Of course, she came after me at top speed. I guess I am rather hard to resist, and I do appreciate the thrill of the chase. This is reminding me of Final Fantasy 1, the Sea Shrine. I finally managed to escape, but when I stopped to catch a breath, I noticed a beautiful scale clinging to my arm. It was the last trace of her I had. I had hoped she would catch me. I wished. Oh, how I missed her. And then, at that moment, rain began pouring from the skies. The only souvenir of our destined meeting was washed away forever. 
How could this happen to me? How could this happen? Imagine my horror. Still, she must have been delighted when it started raining. She just loves water. If you ever come across another of her scales, please let me have it. I beg you. Hmm, looks like so some sort of mermaid scale, I guess, huh? So, let's look at our map. So this is the Colosseum. That sounds cool. That's probably where's my where's my sprite? Oh, there it is. Whoa, that was weird. So, yeah, that's another place we're really wanting to check out soon. The pit and uh, the Colosseum, but not right now. We're too many things to do right now. So we want to go north, and I see another crystal up here that we want to activate. So we can get around town nice and quick. Zazal. Zasal. What are you looking at? Move along or you'll find me fists are as mean as me mouth. Where am I going to find myself a merc with the right amount of rep? There you, Tokobo head. Alright. So, a lot of people around here. One point, number two. There we go. So that one's activated. Alright, and I think over here there might be a survival guide. There's some sort of book over here I saw on the map, but I'm assuming it's a survival guide. Oh, there's two of them. So they'll definitely, one of them will definitely be it. There it is. Alright, so there's another warp point. Ah, uh, so who do we want to talk to around here? Here's someone. Oh no, that's Sama. That's the person we took the boat here with. Here's somebody. Hishama. You are an adventurer, are you not? If you are interested in becoming a mercenary, you should go to Salahim Sentinels. Well, we've already been there. You can find their headquarters at the Southern Port. So here's somebody that would, would have directed us to the area that we needed to go if we hadn't already gone there ourselves. So this person is outside of the Walara Temple. Maybe we can learn a little bit about it. This is Walara Temple. Our doors are always open to those who seek knowledge. I wonder, it must be like a church or something. Anyway, we're not going to go into any of these places unless we're sort of directed to go there. This is a pretty cool area. So straight ahead is the Imperial White Gate. Hmm. So let's head uh, west. Um, yeah, down this way. And there's another area of town down here that has another home point. And it's right over there. Here's somebody by the fountain. Fochacha. You're an adventurer, right? It's so obvi obvious as you can probably guess, I'm also not from around here. The name's Fachacha. I came here from Windurst with my son so I could sharpie warp up my cooking skills. I'm already a veteran, and I wanted to see just what I could do. My son is at the port now picking up cooking ingredients that have just arrived from Windurst. Oh, speaking of ingredients, you've got to try my cooking at least once and let me know what you think you wink. Mom, mom, someone ran off with the ingredients. They've been stolen and you didn't try to stop them? Who could perpetuate such a vile, wild act? Well... That's a Galka. They call me... Serpentung Modat, and I'll be taking those groceries. Oh my gosh, it's Sleepy Hollow. Now hand him over! Oh, 
Wow. That Galka actually punched a Taro Taro. Oh my. Phew. That's pretty cold. And this is all a lie. It might be just a story. And then that creepy, weepy Galka took off with our groceries. I've seen that Galka before. He was saying something to me about handing over groceries, too. He didn't stick around very long after a tasty waste of my hundred fists, though. So you just let him run off with our groceries and came crying to me. And you call yourself my son? I didn't cry. I would never cry. I just ran away without crying. That's beside the point. Now off with you. Get those groceries back, or else feel the wrath of my hundred fists. Hey! Anyway, we'd better get those groceries back, dearie me. If you want to know where my son is, he's probably at the tea house. Gourmets just lovey love to gather there and chat about the latest culinary trends. That rotten galka is sure to be there too. Hmm, okay, well, we'll check out the tea house, like I said, eventually. We're gonna be heading there. Here's another little girl. Uh, first I'll just activate this crystal. That's number one, for some reason. Home point number one. Alright, so, Matifa. Sir, have you ever seen an Aurora? I heard they l look like pretty curtains covering the sky. I want to see one, too. Nadi Pariyaha. I'm Nadi Pariyaha, the mercenary. I used to live in Nashmao. Oh, don't tell me. You've met me there before? I started to pick up Quickern ways when I was there. It can make life difficult, so you should be careful too. There are many Quickern even in this town. Don't let your guard down, or you could end up speaking slowly just like they do. Oh no, I didn't do it again, did I? Oh, those are those aardvark things, or whatever they are. <laughs> Hajawa! Hello, sir. Have you ever found yourself throwing away items because your mod's safe up? Oh, you're one of those. No, don't need your services right now. Zeron. In ancient times, there exists an advanced civilization called the Empire of Alzadal. Emperor Alzadal had the power to control an enormous humanoid that he used to conquer the surrounding nations. Utilizing this mysterious power, he built the foundation of an enormous empire. Every child in Atragan knows that fairy tale. Did you? No, because I'm not from here. Azrod. Azrod. I am Azrod, officer of the Imperial Army. Don't waste my time, adventurer. Excuse me. Nope, don't want to talk to any Void Watch people. Here's two people hiding in the corner. This is Toka Telposhka. You wouldn't happen to want to hear a juicy secret about Naja Salima, would you? Well, fill me in. Naja's famous for her money-grubbing tendencies. They say she refuses to go in debt. Even a single bronze piece when founding Salah's, Salahim Sentinels. Everyone whispering about how she managed to raise so much capital at such a young age. Personally, I think there's something to that giant club she carries around with her. But there's got to be more to it than that. Kube Ia Ejiula. Grr, that girl really makes the fur on my tail stand on end. I can't believe I came all this way to be a mercenary in her ridiculous company. I'm gonna quit. I'm really gonna quit. Well, I'm just getting started. Ubared. You appear to be an adventurer. Are you aware that there is a place called the Chamber of Passage in this town? Apparently, it allows you to be instantly transported to an area that you have previously visited, of all things. Then again, I wonder how much truth there is to such tales. After all, people also insist that there are ships that can fly in the sky. You don't say. Giraffe. Giraffa. Do you have any items that you... Yeah, no. That's most people on the, the bottom level of this floor. I'm not going to 
even bother with the top part yet. So, um, I still see another home point here. Nothing in this section, but we should probably check it out anyway. Let's go, let's go west and check out this other way. See what's go, see what's going on over here. So what's this area all about? Who's this? Daya, Takaya. You a mercenary? Huh? An adventurer, you say? Well, whatever. Got a question for you, adventurer. You ever heard the name Oldham? Hmm, I'm afraid not. No? Don't people remember the old tales anymore? Well, whatever. I, don't, I won't bore you with any when I was young anecdotes and get right down to facts. The west of the Aragia continent is dotted with ancient ruins. Some say these ruins are the remnants of a civilization mentioned in the folklore surrounding the Ramu constellation. Can't say as I've found anything to substantiate that claim just yet. You never can tell how much truth is in those old stories, so no one knows if such a civilization even existed. Of course, that's always a good reason to try and find out. You see, Ramu's symbol is the Oldham Staff, a weapon said to have power over lightning itself. That's where the name for the civilization comes from. Listen to me prattle away without even introducing myself. The name's Takaya. I've been researching the Oldham civilization for longer than I care to remember. As you can see, I'm too old to go trap traipsing around ruins, looking for clues to the past. That's why I need strong young mercenaries like you. Adventurers. Whatever. Now, don't go hurting your brain trying to think too much. All I want you to do is bring me back some trinkets recovered from the ruins. A reward? Well, it may not be uncommon for the people of this land, but I think I ha but I think I have something you might be able to use. What do you say? Will you help an old man in his research? Okay, why not? Who said you young people were good for nothing? Probably me, but that's neither here nor there. Now, I'd appreciate any Oldham artifacts you can dig up. Doesn't much matter where you get them from. Oh, a research journal, a Dakaya's research journal. So we'll be on the lookout for Oldham, what are they? Oldham artifacts. Oh my god, there's tons of people to talk to here. Holy smokes! Tons of NPCs. Tef Kimasnaya. Alright guys, I'm counting on you. You can relax, because Bashroff's on the job. We're on our way. We'll have it back here before you can say Stampeding Dalmo. Oh, I forgot. I need one more thing. Hey, you over there. Won't you lend a girl a hand? M me What do you want? I want to make something, but I need a vial of luminous water. You wouldn't keep a poor girl waiting, would you? Don't ask me what I'm going to use it for, though. It's a secret. Anyway, the vial of luminous water is worth a lot to me. I recently found out that Eku Pasiada has one. But I've begged and I've pleaded and she still won't hand it over. I would be ever so happy if you would go get it from her for me. What, why me? Because you have such a way with women, of course. She seems to hate me for some reason. I, I think that you should solve the problem yourself. Oh, I see how it is. Ah. You'll help me, won't you? Such a nice looking person wouldn't let me down. Just a bit of personal advice, sir. Everyone is completely enamored of that girl, but she uses everybody for her personal gain. 
I would stay away if I were you. <laughs> well, if we happen to come across that item, we'll bring it to her. Why not? What happens if we talk to him directly? You should watch... Yeah, okay. So there, those two characters are connected in a common quest. Here's Malfud. What do you sell, my friend? Rock salt, black pepper, olive oil, eggplant, mithrin tomato, and pine nuts. Yeah, I think olive oil can actually be used as a substitute for slime oil um, to make uh, silent oils, I think. But it doesn't work as well. The, silent, the slime oil works way better. So here's what, here's a puppet. An animated puppet. Um, let's talk to some of these people. Tall Wan. I want an automaton of my own, but I know I'll never be able to afford one, so I watch Petrino every day instead. Ah, I wish I had that, had one too. Tafisa. What a cute little puppet. She reminds me of my daughter when I was but a girl. All right, so Ziphil is a puppeteer, huh? Come one, come all. There's room for everyone. No pushing now. Witness the amazing antics of the singing, dancing Petrino. Cute, isn't she? La 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 lula. Petrino loves singing very much. Lulu lulu la. Ta 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 ta. Petrino loves dancing even more. Ta 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 tu ta ta. You've never seen anything like it. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes on the amazing Petrino. I'm not going to talk to all these spectators. I get the idea. There's a puppet. They're all watching it. They like it. You sell ooh, all kinds of things. Automaton oil. Mm, stuff for puppetry, I guess. Restores a lot. Yeah. Restores hit points to your puppet. Oh, there's some people down here. A couple people here hiding. Sanraku. That glimmer of determination in your eyes, the aura of confidence that can only be felt from one who has overcome unspeakable hardships. There is no mistake about it, you are an adventurer, and no ordinary one at that. How was it that I could tell, you ask? To one with a trained eye, such things are no different to distinguishing a mandragora from a morble. I've been praying to the goddess to be delivered once such as you. I beseech you, adventurer, spare me a moment of your time and hear my plea. Oh, you must excuse me. I've completely forgotten my manners. I am Sanraku, a simple traveling painter from the Far East. I have devoted my life entirely to capturing the beauty of nature on canvas, in pursuit of that which would make the perfect painting subject. I have traveled to the deepest hearts of continents and traversed temp te tempestuous seas. Enticed by rumors of Atragon's diverse and unique fauna, I made my way here with my apprentice, Ryu. But nothing could have prepared us for the darkness that threatened to swallow up the whole empire. Civilians like us dare not leave the city lest we fall victim to the prowling hordes of beastmen. Even these mighty sandstone walls do little to stay the relentless besiegers. I had all but given up hope that any fruit would be born of my journeys to Atragon. In fact, we were about to pack up and leave on the next ship to Mora when you appeared. Surely, it was by the divine grace of the goddess that you have been led here. Will you not lend us a hand, noble adventurer? The task I have in mind for you is straightforward. And I will make sure you are well compensated for your valuable assistance. Let me first provide you with some background information. Atragon is home to numerous technologically advanced inventions, among which the automaton is most famous, the invention that has caught my attention, however, is a lesser-known contraption known as a Soul Trapper, which we have! Truly a marvel of science, we know all about those and the Soul Plates. And we already have that, so I don't think we need to buy one from this guy. I kind of thought this might have been it, so this guy... I would sooner be... okay. So we'll use the Soul Trapper, I guess, to find monsters that they want to see, I guess. Greetings, adventurer. My name is Ryu, apprentice to Master Sanraku. The Master has instructed me to assist you in whatever way possible. The criteria for a good image. So, yeah. Well, I just want to know what creature they want to see. They haven't really said. Did they? Let me just read this. A 
It just says, I want you to venture out into the wilderness in my stead and seek out and capture images of at Ergon's fauna using the Soul Trapper. Hmm. Doesn't really say specifically any creatures they're looking for, but... I guess we'll pull our Soul Trapper out of our inventory in our Mog Safe, and we have some of the Soul Plates left. Is this just a merchant? Or, I mean, a, a bard? Yeah. No, we don't need to talk to you. So, yeah, no, I don't like the looks of these two. So, where is that Persuvant? We were supposed to talk to that person. Persuvant. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go back and talk to that person. A few more vendors over on this side. Roast mushroom, sis kebab, salak sis. Rubaha. Millicorn, million corn, pardon me. Imperial flour, imperial rice, kasha beans. Cooking ingredients. Alright, so I'm just gonna go talk to Pursuvance quickly. We'll be right back. Yeah, we didn't go up here. So that's what we were supposed to do. We we're supposed to come up here. Ah, okay, we'll talk to you. Kaduru Haduru. Greetings. I see you have been drawn in by the spectacle of my massive magical aura. Do not be embarrassed. You are not the first. Perhaps I shall bless you with a demonstration. I can snatch you up in an eldritch embrace and transport you off to a far off land. How does Juno sound? But I must have a tribute to match my brilliance. Ah, yes, an imperial silver piece would be perfect. There is no hurry. The stream of time shall wait for one such as I. When you are prepared, trade me the treasure I ask for, and you will find yourself whisked to the center of Juno in a twinkling. Well, we don't need to go to Juno. And I can go to Juno whenever I want, using a, a way gate. So I'm not sure what that's all about. It's down there. Ah. Uh, kind of lost. Uh... I was getting close. I think it's down here. Yes, Persuvant. I could have sworn we talked to someone with that name before. The IRNC has dispatched me to help support all those who wish to participate in conflict. Ballista. Oh, this is that thing. Before you can take part in this conflict event, you must first possess the Ballista license. Yeah, okay. XML. Right. This is... I know this. This was the... Uh, the battle arena stuff. That's going to be late game stuff we're going to do. So we'll come back to deal with all that later. Okay, so next we're going to go up here towards the auction house. So let's head back north. Yeah, I can just cut this whole Percivance thing out. Now we'll head north into another new little area. So this is the part of town that has the auction house. Mm. What do you sell? Magic. Saliyaf.
Hey, I haven't seen you around here before. You wouldn't happen to be one of those adventurers everyone's been making a fuss over, are you? Me? I'm Saliaf. I work together with a guy named Waz... Waz... Yeah, to solve the people of Atagan's problems. We're l like you adventurers, only we don't leave town. Actually, I'm afraid Waziz not the sharpest knife in the drawer, so I end up doing all the work. Have you ever met Wazi before? Lately, he's been acting kind of fishy, like he's hiding something, or... Sa? Saliaf? Well, speak of the devil. Wazi? I can't know how to say that name. Wazi? What the hell is wrong with you? Don't surprise me like that. Uh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. Whatever. You'll do it again anyway. Well, give me your report. You were out guarding the streets, right? Th that's correct, sir. Um, well, this is, you see, out with it already. I dropped it. Huh? What is it that you dropped? Explain yourself. Um, well, the merchant asked me to... Merchant? Oh no, don't tell me you. Well, I know we refused, but she looked like she was really in a bind, so I told her I would deliver it myself. So anyway, I took her package and headed to the commoner's ward, and wouldn't you know it, the beastman attacked when I got there and chased me. And when I was running, the package, I, I, I dropped it. You idiot! <gasps> we had already refused, right? And you knew how dangerous the commoner's ward is. And you went off alone without consulting me first. What were you thinking? Not only that, but you even managed to drop the woman's package. <gasps> You've got a lot of nerve to show your face to me again. B but she really needed help. Don't you butt me. You should have refused. You... You... Never. Ever. Ever think about the consequences of your actions. Chasing every pickpocket you catch word of. Charging after random thugs to take back their loot. Jumping down from the city walls to stop a fight. She looked dead in that last shot. Not to mention jumping right into the ocean to retrieve a dropped item. Is there anything you've managed to successfully accomplish alone? All you ever do is get yourself hurt and then come running to me. And just who do you think <sighs> has to clean up your mess? I, I'm sorry, I'll just go find- You're missing the point. I've had it. I can't put up with this anymore. We're through, was he? Was he? What? You, you can't mean that, Salia. I've heard enough from you already. The very sight of you makes my blood boil. B but we, we... Anyway, our partnership is over. If you're so eager to get your nose into trouble, then get your tail over to Mamuk. Or the Arapago Reef. Y you can't mean that! Ah, Saliaf. There you are. I have a report for you. What's all the fuss about? We've got a big problem on our hands. There's a rough and rowdy lot harassing a woman in Balron Way. What? At an Atragon woman? Yes. And not only that, the culprits appear to be mercenaries from abroad. Huh? <gasps> M mercenaries You're our only hope, Saliaf. Please, you must save her, or she'll... Wait, wait a minute. Just, just give me a moment. You go on ahead of me, and I'll be there soon. Um, okay. Please hurry. I've heard mercenaries are pretty strong. Wait, you're an adventurer, right? You heard the man. Let this go, and soon everyone will be suspicious of people from abroad. 
First, you should go and just make sure everything is okay, all right? Um, I'll be right behind you. All right, so there's another, another little quest to start pursuing. We already talked to you. All right, so let me look at our map. So, in this area, yeah. yeah there is a crystal, but it's got, we gotta go up. It must be down around here somewhere. I think it's in the other corner. Yep, there it is. Just popped into existence. This is Ada. Good day to you, adventurer. The passage over there leads to the Alchemist's Guild. Long have I practiced the art of alchemy, yet I do not find myself becoming bored. It truly is fascinating. No, let me go! Stop that! Behave yourself! Again, you come before me. Nothing has changed since the last time. Please, won't you reconsider? The child has nimble fingers and would soon pick up the trade if he were to live at the guild. Yes, and he uses those nimble fingers to pilfer my goods. What have you done with those herbs and vials? Ah, uh, what are you griping about? It was just a bunch of junk anyway. Tinga, mind your manners. Who asked you? I don't need no stinking job. If you love this place so much, why don't you work here? I won't always be around to take care of you. Try to understand. I don't need no one to take care of me. Stay out of my life. <sighs> I'm sorry you had to see that. You're an adventurer, right? I've done a fair share of adventuring myself, traveling the world with my sword and my wits. It was not long after I arrived in Al Zabi when I ran into Tinga. He had lost both his parents, an orphan. I tried to find somebody to take him in, but every door was slammed in my face. So I decided to look after him for a time and found myself getting attached to the little scamp. I couldn't just leave him and pick up my adventures again. I was going to continue my mercenary work here and raise Tinga as my own. But then I realized I could no longer swing a sword. It seemed I have contracted some sort of illness. The doctor says there is not much time left for me. Before I pass from this life, I want to make sure Tinga has some way to support himself. Well, you can see how well that effort is going. He has no mind to begin a trade and is only interested in causing mischief. But deep down, I know he's a good kid. What do you say? Do you think you can help out a fellow adventurer? I need you to help me turn his life around. Anytime I try to have a serious talk with him, he just runs away. To tell the truth, I have no idea where he is most of the time. Quite the dilemma. Perhaps I may be of assistance. You would help us? I'm not so cold-hearted as all that. The problem is how to draw Tinga out of hiding. How about we pretend to leave this elixir behind by mistake? Excellent. Please go on ahead. I shall join you once my work here is done for the day. Thank you, Ada. Ah, Ada. Mm, that was a very long cutscene. So I come back later? Meet me at Port Al Zabi towards the south of town. Tinga spends much of his time there, and a little performance may be enough to draw the attention of our little fugitive. Okay, so I guess we'll do that then. But first we want to activate this crystal. Yeah, so we got... Oh, we only have three out of the four. How'd that happen? Thought we missed one? Oh, no, we're at the third one. What am I saying? Yeah, so we got all uh, four. I think that's all there is. Doesn't seem to be much going on. There's just one more port to visit. 
Uh, I want to check out the auction house. Real quick. Here we go. I'm still trying to get the fisherman's uh, gloves. Still hasn't been any. It's been uh, about a week I've been waiting, but... I'm patient, but let's just check while we're here. Yeah, oh, there they are right there. Fisherman's gloves. Nothing yet. Alright. Um, I don't think I need anything else right now. I'm not buying any more um, uh, skins. We have all the ram skins. And, well, we could always use more dolmo hides, though. Let me just check. Although we are going to be farming some dolmo hides soon, so I might not need to buy any, actually. But let me just see if there is any. I'm just curious. They're usually around 30,000. It's a lot. So I don't think... Yeah, good. I'm glad there's none. <laughs> okay. It didn't tempt me to buy them. Yeah, because I think I'm going to be doing a little more um, l uh, level grinding on my summoner and dragoon classes. Just for fun. Because we need those items anyway. And we need dark crystals. So we can grind for domal hides at uh, Buburu Peninsula. And we can then grind for dark crystals at... Zarkabard. So that's what I'm thinking of doing with uh, Dragoon and Summoner, but uh, we'll, we'll see. This is Najaum. They say this auction house is connected with another auction house located in the Grand Duchy of Juno. There are rumors that some dubious folk called the Ten Shodo are somehow behind it all. Mm, we know them. An amazing variety of wares are sold daily in Juno's auction house. It's huge business. Yes, well, we know all about that. Thanks to the Ten Shoto, my goods are selling faster than ever before. Okay, so let's just head over and talk. Yeah, head check out this uh, port, and then we'll head back to the southern port to see if we can um, progress with that quest we just took with that elf. Who can we talk to around here? Vendor, Salua, Maple Shield, Elm Shield, Mahogany Shield, lots of shields. Shabizu, the Seagull Fratri are attempting to retrieve the glory of Ephraimad, but I think they could have chosen a better way to do it. Not that I have any brilliant ideas myself. So this is another port. I'm not sure where this could take us. Koi Gamdula. The ship bound for Nashmao will depart in about two hours, which is five minutes Earth time. So yeah, there's different areas of this expansion, the treasure the Atragan region that we can sail to, and we will sail to, I guess, but all in good time. Sajab. Ahead you can find a secret passage that will lead you to a hidden fortress in Baflau thickets. I think that might be where we're heading next, to be honest. Let me just look down here. That's our way back. That's where we came from. A few more people to talk to down here, and then we're done. I think. We've done enough. Eku Pasayada. You want my vial of luminous water? Tef sent you, didn't she? She never gives up, does she? But that's just too bad. I'll never let her get her paws on my stuff. That kind of girl makes me feel like scratching something. What do you guys see in her, anyway? The guy who came bugging me last time was my type, too. How could a cutie like that be interested in such a brat? But still, if he came back asking for the vial, I don't think I could resist any longer. His outfit's gleaming embellishments really brought out his dashing elven looks. Wish I could find out more about him. I can't stop thinking about that handsome elven in his brilliantly embroidered clothing. I wish I could find out more about him. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I know where he is. Uh, he is actually... Let's see. His name is Zabath. Did we talk to him? And he's at F8. F8. 
Okay, there. Oh, that guy. I know that guy. That was the guy that was telling that other Mithra chick to do her own dirty work. <laughs> That's right. Okay, that makes sense. That was the guy that was talking to her. Okay, let's just go talk to him then now. Alright, because he's connected then to these two feuding Mithra girls, so... Yeah, that makes sense. Am I going the right way? Yes. He's right down here. He is a good-looking guy, actually. A good-looking elven guy. Tall, dark, and handsome. There he, there he is. Yeah, this guy. What, what, why would I want to go back and speak to Eku? Well, if you insist. Um... Okay, now we'll go back and talk to her again. Oh, it's him! Hee <laughs> hee, nice work. You can have that vial of luminous water now. What are you waiting around for? Get out of here so you can... So we can be alone. So, well, she's direct. Alright, so there he is. The vial of luminous water. So we can give that now to... Um... Uh, Tef Kamasnaya? Yep, so it looks like that guy has changed allegiances. So let's see if she's all alone now or if that guy is still hanging out here. At least I can give her her vial of water. Nope, he's still here. <laughs> so here, yeah, here it is. Let's see what she says now. Oh, you got the vial of luminous water for me. How sweet. Why, thank you. And since you're so sweet, I have one more thing to ask of you too. I warned you, you shall never escape her now. What are you muttering about over there? You've been awfully rude to me lately. Why are you always hanging around here anyway? What do you mean, why am I always hanging around here? I would like to inquire of you the very same thing. My, my, what an ego. Oh, look, if it isn't Eku. I'm really enjoying the vial of luminous water, you know. That's okay. I don't need it anymore. Thanks to that vial, I found someone much better than Farnon. Oh, ho, this guy? I see you have broad tastes. Thanks to you, we really hit it off. See you later. She came here just to show off her stupid boyfriend. That kind of girl makes me feel like scratching something. And then there's you. Just what do you want with me anyway? I wish you'd leave me alone. What makes you think I would want to be around you anyway? Ouch. What a jerk. Our conversation went rather off topic. Sorry about that. Oh yeah, I wanted you to bring something to me. It's also for something I want to make. I guess I might as well tell you what it is. Are you ready? You can't tell anyone now. You see, I'm a really materialistic person. But some time ago, I met an old lady in town who said she could make a potion to cure me of my desires. I was so surprised. But the potion is really hard to make and uses a lot of ingredients. That's why I had to ask for help to find everything. think you could help me find the rest of the ingredients? Pretty please. Um, I guess we'll do this dot dot dot. Oh, and I really thought you'd help me too. Fine. If that is the case, I will get them for you. You're still here? What an interesting turn of events. We must fix that foul personality of yours quickly before everyone suffers. Okay, that was totally uncalled for. I don't need any of your help. Finally, he's gone. What a complete jerk. I wonder how the old lady is coming along with that potion.
now we are in this part of the map. And we want to go south here, through this archway. Oh, this way. Okay, we want to make sure we're on the bottom part. If we go through here, something should happen. All right, let's see what happens. What? Nothing. Hmm. Down here. Aha, very specific little area. Where there's the old lady. Kyahaha! Look at how much I have now, and I bet I can squeeze even more out of her. I knew something fishy was going on. What are you doing here? So, this is how you make the potion. Mix some fresh orc livers with a few pinches of venom dust, and... Hey, get out of that. That's not for you to see. Odd. I could swear I have seen this recipe somewhere before. You must be mistaken. This is an original. I will believe that after I have researched it for myself. Are you calling me a liar? I do not know what you are planning, but you had better stop taking advantage of Tef. That is all I have to say to you. Oh ho ho ho, this is rich. Do you realize how many people she's taken advantage of? You're one of them. She uses people to get whatever she wants, and even that doesn't satisfy her. You can't cure a spoiled brat, and she's a fool on top of that. No one can help her. But I see nothing wrong with clinging to an unrealistic shred of hope. Hehehe, <laughs> speak of the devil. Tef, come back! Huh? Just, what was that all about? So what's this Hajong guy hanging out under the bridge here say? Oh, a traveler. Perfect. You can listen to my worries. Actually, I just have one complaint. I can't sing my love songs freely in this nation. All the fault lies with the immortals. They ask around town for anyone who may be trying to taint the minds of the public or create dissension against the Empress. In reality, they are keeping a close watch on all of us. The other day, I sang a fictional love song about a princess and a prince and I was nearly carted off to the dungeons. But I could do no good for this poor nation if I simply went west. I am worrying myself into knots just thinking about it all. All right, so I'm gonna go back and talk to Taff. That old lady tricked me after all. Are you satisfied now? Maybe. Just get out of my sight. I am back with the item you requested. Along with brave Fadil. And your hero, Wabaud. Thank you so much, everyone. But I don't need the items anymore. I'm really sorry. What a pity. Even though we worked so hard to bring them to you? Let's go do something more interesting, shall we? There go her boys. What are you looking at? Get lost. Everything I've done seems so meaningless now. I've been looking entirely in the wrong place for what I really want. But you knew that already, and that makes me feel like scratching something. But I'm glad you told off that mean old lady. Thank you. I was not doing it for you. Oh, I see how it is. Um, I think I need a potion too, so I can express my feelings more clearly. What? N nothing You must be hearing things. Weirdo. What is up with those two anyway? I knew it all along. Oh, well. If I don't help them out, who will? Thanks for helping me out earlier. The two of us just got back from Babiki Bay.
Actually, I heard Eku talking about how beautiful it is there. So I just had to go to see it for myself. I just brought Zabaf along as my bodyguard, but it was pretty fun. Let me give you this to you in appreciation for all you've done. All right, we got a Babiki seashell. Now, I think, uh, all right, two more things I want to do. First, I want to just head back to the southern, the Port al -Zabi. So we'll go south and then east. In regards to that little prankster earlier, apparently we want to head down here. Yeah, hang out by these two buckets, apparently. We're supposed to, supposed to stand here. That's like a third one. <laughs> Is that what it says? No, this is not the right place, obviously. Maybe it's here. Is this it? No, this is not the right place. Is it? Oh, here! This must be it. Yes. There's where we wanted to be. I was in the wrong area. Yeah, so we stand here to initiate another cutscene with these guys. Hail, I trust I did not keep you waiting too long. Have you brought the item I requested? Play the part of a merchant. Just follow my lead. Yes, this is exactly what I was searching for. You've done well to obtain such an extraordinary rare item. What's this? You say you have something even more impressive for sale. Well then, my good merchant, lead on. Well, well. Look who decided to show up. <laughs> hey, come back here. So now we want to go... Uh... We gotta go up. Alright, so now we're going to go to the upper part here, right above where we were. All the way down here to the very end. There we go. Another cutscene. Aha! Nowhere left to run. What's wrong with you? Do you want my autograph that bad? Spare me your witty comments and return the item you stole. I didn't steal nothing. I just picked it up. Enough is enough. You will return everything you've taken from my store. If you do as you're told, I might even reconsider the request to take you as my pupil. That old junk? I threw it away already. I threw it away? Why even take it in the first place? <laughs> you're not alone. If it makes you feel any better. These saucers are from the Shararat Tea House. These clothes are from Emiya's store. And this carpet I got from Yazwil's place. I swiped all this stuff in half a day. You grown-ups are so pathetic. Not that I need any of it. little. You got something to say to me? Don't worry, none of that junk I just dropped was yours. That's the final straw. Rat Ratib. 
I've been lenient since you're just a child, but you go too far. Give me back my carpet. Oh, calm down already. Calm down? I'm gonna go out of business if you break any more of my crockery. And you were the one who poked holes in all of my wares, weren't you? My carpet! What's going on here? You! Tinga has ruined all of our livelihoods. Is this true, Tinga? So what if it is? Then you must apologize to everyone and give back all the things you took. What am I supposed to do with a pile of broken cups? We don't need your kind around here. You probably put the child up to this in the first place. I never. How could you? You're too sick to work and can't earn a living anymore. Isn't that right, adventurer? I knew you foreign adventurers were up to no good. Take your sneaky accomplice and get out of our city. I'll leave if that's what you want. But please, let Tinga stay. He's just a child. Tinga. I'm glad I had the chance to meet you. Who cares? Why don't you leave already? I wish there was more I could do for you. I could have done for you. I said get lost already. Everything has gone downhill since I met you. If you hadn't interfered, some rich family might have adopted me instead. I really wish you had just left me alone. But now it looks like I'm finally getting rid of you. I... I'm sorry. Oko? Ahada? Thank you for all your help. Alcander? It's fine, really. No one is to blame for this. That child certainly is a handful. What are we supposed to do with him? Who would take him in? Especially after that adventurer set him on the wrong path. You don't know what you're talking about. Alcander didn't do nothing wrong. I'm the bad one. Who was the one who looked after me when I was all alone? Not one of you, that's for darn sure. Alcander was the only person who ever looked out for me. What the? What's going on here, Tinga? I thought you hated Alcander. He's my best friend. If that's true, then why do all those terrible things? You forced him away from you. I did it because I want him to stay with me. I know he's really sick and won't be around much longer, so... Ghosts always come out at night, you know. Why's that? Because it's scarier that way. Ghosts only show up when they hate someone enough to stay in this world. Is that true? Of course it's true. They come back to haunt the people who hurt them in life. That's what makes them so scary. I figured if Alcander hated me enough, then he would come back as a ghost. Then I could see him all the time. I see now, you poor child. But listen to me, Tinga. What you're planning is selfish. It means that Alcander must spend eternity feeling only hate and anger. Is that a fate you would wish for yourself? What's wrong, kid? Don't worry. Everything will be okay. I was alone too, but now I've met you. 
It's good to have friends, don't you think? I can't let this happen. No, child! It's too dangerous out there. You have to bring them back. Who knows what creatures are lurking beyond the city walls? Leave it to me. Thank you. They can't have gone far. You can catch them if you hurry. We'll look out for him. So there's one more thing I want to do before we take a break and do something different. I want to check out, check out the uh, tea house. So the Shararat tea house is right down here. Here's someone. Hi oh, is that... Who's this? Kelsha Malancha. Hey, listen up. I saw something absolutely unbury believable. It was a Yagudo. Yes, a Yagudo. Do you know what I'm talking about? A Yagudo in town of all places. Not only that, but he was sipper sipping a cup of chai at the tea house. Can you believe that? That kind of thing would never, ever happen in Windurst. I mean, that's like talkie walking into the Rarab tail hostelry one day and boom, there's a Yagudo sitting in the corner eating his lunch with a little napkin on his lap. I mean, this is a Yagudo we're talking about here. My friends in Windurst are never going to believe me when I tell them. If you stick around in this town long enough, I'm sure you'll see him yourself. A Yugudo tea aficionado. Now I've seen everything. So, I think the tea house is right down here somewhere. It was this place, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, no, that's the pit. Alright, where are we going? We want... Ah, we gotta go through some tunnels to get there. It's down here. What's this? A whole bunch of people here. All them all. Well, hello, adventurer. We are called the Epicureans, devotees to mastering the art of culinary delight. Our leader goes by a moniker, Serpentung Modat. Do you know of him? I find it hard to believe that someone does not know of Serpentung Modat. You are aware of the fact that the rulers of Atragan are named after serpents, yes? Serpentung Modat rules over Atragan's cuisine. But enough of that. What do you think of my cooking? This fish put up quite a fight before I reeled him in. Hey, Kutiba. I only expect the best from your superb fishing skill. But I doubt you could surpass my gardening talents. These vegetables could only grow with my perfect sub sub subtle combination of crystals and patience. Gehehehe. <laughs> How are you guys coming along? Well, there he is! Greetings, boss! Boss? So they're working together? Oh, Katiba! Nice fish! That's a legendary catch! And fresh vegetables from Ulamal! Fantastic! Kehehe! <laughs> I've done pretty well myself! I've got some things from Windurst here! Hold it right there! How dare you steal my mom's groceries? Return them at once. <laughs> what now, kid? You mean to say that you didn't give these to me out of the goodness of your heart? Don't tell me he's done it again. When it comes to food, the boss just loses his head. Boss? I really wish you'd stop this. After all, we're the ones who are going to have to go apologizing later. <laughs> what are you going to do about it, kid? Finders keepers, right? Hey, boss. Why don't you clean your ears out? You're dragging the name Serpent through the mud, you know. You guys are a bunch of weirdos. I don't care if you've got a hundred wondred snakes, or even lizards. Because I've got me an adventurer here. Prepare to be vanquished, evildoers. <laughs> you've got to be kidding, kid. Fine. You can have your lousy groceries. Later. Where are you going now, boss? I'm going 
going to pick up a shipment of ingredients at the port. I'll be back soon. That hairy meanie used up half of the food already. Oh, he really makes my blood boil. What should I do? If mom finds out, she'll turn me into a bretzel. I got it. And it just might work. All right, let's talk to a few more people around the tea house here. Halbia. You will never guess what I saw. He was right in front of me, the dreamiest man I had ever laid eyes on. Can you imagine my surprise? He was covered from head to toe in golden armor. He was so stunning I was forced to shade my eyes. Not only that, but he was so generous. He treated everyone in the tea house to all the chai and coffee we could drink. Have you ever heard anything like it? <sighs> Zabian. There are two types of drinks here at the Shararat Tea House, coffee and chai. The coffee appeals to the traditionalists and allows the shop to retain its atmosphere. But they made a wise decision by also introducing chai, which is newer and cheaper than coffee. Now this tea house is extremely popular with young people and is always bustling with activity. A brilliant business move, don't you think? I just can't decide whether I identify more with the coffee crowd or the chai crowd. Fari Wari. Ahem. Me, 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 me. La, 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 la. Ah, I was just doing some vocal exercises. Oh, very embarrassing. I am Fari Wari, the eloquent and never long winded, a humble bard and all around entertainer. To discover inspiration for new compositions, I am traveling this uh, turbulent world in search of heroic tales that ignite the blood and stir the soul. However, it pains me to realize I have heard the epics of the West twice, and in some cases thrice over, and thus, gentle listener, I braved the ocean deep and wide to arrive here in this land of untold stories. Your relaxed poise and, and posture led me to believe you have some familiarity with our location. Perhaps our meeting was told in the stars, or at least to the tea leaves of some cup drained in this very establishment. What say you? Will you consent to become my attendant? My man Ferris Day? My guiding lights in the darkness? Sure. Wonderful! My prospective attendants usually put up much more of a fight. The first assignment will be to aid me as I interview the citizens of this town in search of heroic inspiration. Now, who to choose to become my muse? Let's see now. Hmm, how about that severe-looking lass in the uniform? Greetings, my Imperial Rose. Excuse me? May I impose on your solitude, sweet damsel? Perhaps we could share a pot of cha... How dare you speak to me in such a casual manner? I am Bayada, the senior adjutant of Sky Serpent General Rujajin. My most humble apologies, I was hopelessly enchanted by your swan-like elegance, and... What was that name you just mentioned? I am Bayada. No, no, the other one, after that. You speak of General Rujajin? Yes, that's the one. Would this general happen to be a personage of some fame and importance? I am but barely arrived in this nation, and have little... Even a recent visitor to our city should know of the great general Rajujin. He is the guardian of Al-Zabi, the commander of the Serpent Generals, and a decorated hero. Oh-ho! And I assume he is as fierce as a raptor, and as courageous as a lion. The perfect warrior. Might I presume upon you to regale me with his tale? I am not some dusty historian, mind you. I am a bard of some renown, composing flattering odes to heroes as I wander this world of wonders. A bard? Then General Rajajin's valiant deeds would be immortalized in verse. 
But I have no time for this daydreaming. Calm down, my dear. I'm sure I can deal with whatever it is that troubles you. I don't recall asking for your help. And what do you think a tiny little thing like you could do in any case? Well, I may be somewhat lacking in physical prowess. But my attendant here has no such deficiencies. A mercenary, are you? Hmm, well, I suppose you would have some experience with staring death in the face. Exactly. Why, my attendant is worth a thousand soldiers. His skill in battle is unmatched by... Do you think I might have a word with this attendant of yours? I had a choice. It concerns General Rujajin. He has been commanding the defenses of the city in an almost endless battle to stem the constant waves of beastmen assaults. One can only imagine the level of exhaustion he must be feeling. Just the other day, General Rujajin was on the front lines, leading our soldiers in an effort to repel the invading troll mercenaries. In the heat of combat, he dropped something very dear to him. An instant of inattention was all it took. I suspect that one of the enemy mercenaries snatched up this precious item before retreating to Halvang. The trolls are known to calm such trophies from our soldiers in order to inflate their stories of conquest. The general has continued to fulfill his duties as if nothing were amiss, but I work side by side with him every day. I see the sadness that he attempts to hide. If I could, I would track down this keepsake myself. But abandoning my post without leave would cause even further grief for my commander. An enlisted soldier such as me has little freedom. That is why I would ask your aid. I need someone to travel to the troll stronghold of Halvang and retrieve what General Rajajin had lost. This is your great worry? Why, nothing could be simpler. My attendant here will stalk into Halvang on the silent paws of a panther and seek this lost treasure with the unblinking eyes of a hawk. And when you have the treasure in your possession, perhaps you will consent to tell me the tale of this mighty general? If you do this thing, I promise to tell you all that I know. From what I can catch from the general's murmurings, the item is some sort of cloth. Cloth? Yes. Attendant, no time for dilly-dallying. Off to Halvang with you. For the protector of all Zabi, to ease the mind of this fair maiden, but mostly to allow me to compose the greatest ballad this world has ever known. All right, so we will be heading to Halvang, so when we're there, we'll look for that cloth. Here's Fayiwa, who sells chai and coffee. And does Yafaf sell the same thing? Mm-hmm. Sutlak which is a pudding-style dessert. It's interesting. And Imperial Coffee. So there's the coffee. Hit points recover while healing. And here's the guy that was part of... Uh, things were stolen from him, I guess, from that Taro Taro before. Ratib. Papa, we have to do something. Silence! Do not speak to your father in such a way. But he might be in big trouble. Someone has to help him. There's nothing we can do about it. If I get involved, it'll just draw the Immortals' attention to me, and I'll, I'll never be able to do business in Al-Zabi again. But still. Stop your whining and help me with the shop. What was all that about? Oh, I get it. A moment ago, the Immortals came and arrested that guy's son. Mutib. He suspected of having defeated... He suspected of having dealings with the Corsairs. The Immortals consider the Corsairs their enemies. Just forget about it already. That brat would just cause trouble if he were still here anyway. 
Don't talk about Mutib that way. If you're not going to help him, then I will. Hmm. Sorry you had to see that. Seeing as I'm always busy with the shop, that kid grows closer to his older brother than he has to me. But his brother, Mutib's such bad news. I always expected something like this to happen. He doesn't want his ways to rub off on his younger brother, so he orders me to keep his vile business a secret. Of course, that kind of craftiness is incomprehensible to a child. What am I supposed to do with that boy? He won't be able to do anything by himself. Sorry, sir, but I can't leave my shop. Do you think you could go check on Wasud for me? Sure, I'll check on him. Wherever he is. Um, yeah, where is he? Wasud. Okay, so we'll follow up on that uh, quest very soon. What's this? I don't know what that is. Nothing. Who knows? Then, um, to initiate the next part of that quest, we want to go um, just straight north to the Imperial White Gate. And we want to look for Mafwab. So we're pretty close to that, so let's just head there. We're almost done running around you know, this city and running all our errands and initiating all the quests, but just a few more things to do. And then we'll just go out on one little excursion and then end the video. Here we're looking for Mafwab. There he is, Mafwab. Yep. Going the right way. All right, let's talk to Mafwab. Want to know about that kid? He kept going on about some Corsair. What am I saying? Do you even know what a Corsair is? Nothing. I know nothing. Well, I suppose that makes sense. Your run-of-the-mill adventurer doesn't get much chance to rub shoulders with that lot. The Corsairs are a bunch of miscreants who have been marauding around this area. What's that? Ugh. What the hell's going on? Mutib! Let's get out of here. We won't let you escape. After them! Way to make an entrance, immortals. Well, we'd love to stay and keep you company. I'm afraid we've got some business to take care of, if you'll excuse us. Regroup on the wings of the seagull. Damn, Katada and his seagull fratry. I apologize, Sir Yazkul. Don't just stand there. After them, before they go too far. 
Yes, sir. Hmm, here's another one of those sparkling little... Resume point? What does that mean? Hmm, who knows? Okay, so that initiated the next part. So the next, um... Uh, part of this little quest is going to be in another part of the world, not in the city. So we'll just come back to this little story of, uh, this kid. What are the kids' names again? Wasud and his brother Mutib. <laughs> Howdy wowdy, Topok still isn't back yet. Nice timing, here he comes. Check it out, I got the groceries back. Well, you certainly sound confident, but I know you had help from this adventurer here. What a wimpy, fimpy thing to do. Huh? If you were watching, then why didn't you helpy welp me out too? What did you say? Nothing. Nothing at all. Wait just a moment now. Look at this beautiful dish. Eat up, eat up. Don't leave a crumb. And let me know how it was. Well, well, what an interesting dish. Mmm, yummy. But still not good enough for me. See you around. <laughs> oh, just wait till I get my hands on you. Just gobbled everything up. I'm very sorry, but these are all I have left. They're yours. All right, we obtained three imperial bronze pieces. It's a new form of currency. I don't think we've seen that before. Okay, so that's about everything that we need to do in town. Uh, now we're going to be uh, continuing uh, the mission for this area, though. So this one. Yeah, we're going to deliver a package to one of the immortals found at the staging points, and Naja will consider you for a mercenary contract. So that'll be the next step. I'm just going to do a little more research um, of, of uh, things that we need to do in the area and in town before we head out. We'll be almost done this episode. It's been a lot. It just like reminds me of the first time we like showed up in Bastok or Juno or Windurst or whatever. It's just the first time we enter these towns. It's just so much talking and dialogue and people to talk to and things to do. It's just a little overwhelming. But I think we pretty much have a handle on it now. So now we'll be moving on to a little more adventure. And we'll only get a chance to do a little bit of it in this episode. But yeah, it's better than nothing. Alright, let's check it out. Bafflau thickets. This is a brand new area. Bafflau thickets. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'll look for records of eminence first thing. There we 
go. So we'll call our favorite trusts. I'll call. I'll let Baban have a little more time to shine. Wow, there's all kinds of people running around here. This is a new area. Let's fight some monsters. And... There's one place we want to go pretty nearby. So we want to look for... We want to go to H7. So let's see here. H... Seven. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we'll just start heading north. Getting a little turned around here. So these are new monsters. Let's fight some of these. So, Lesser Colibri. They kind of look like a flamingo and a hummingbird. Wonder what kind of drops they'll give us. Or a toucan. That's another monster. Or a bird, it looks sort of like. Yeah. Hummingbird, Toucan, Flamingo mix. <laughs> 41 experience. I'm not fighting the spiders. I hate spiders. Yep, we're just as good. Ah, uh, maybe I should. There seems to be a lot of them. I'm just going to be running through most of this. I don't think we need to stop for very much. There's a few things we want to do along the way. The first one we're looking for, yeah, like I said, is at H7. Wow. This is thick bush around here. Mm, okay, so more of those birds around here. Let's fight those. I like them. Yep. The pink birds. Let's see if we can fight ten of them. For the records of eminence. We'll do some spiders, why not? Let's just do it to kill them. Let's try Holy 2. Mm, got interrupted. Here's some pink Marlboros. Let's fight those. Am Amer Ameritat. Tack. They're pink and purple. Yeah, they do, uh, it's interesting, we're, even at level 99, they do aggro. We got some acid from that last one. 
So this will be 9 out of 10. And one more. Saplings. No, I don't think we need to fight anymore. Um, we have a guaranteed battle coming up, so we'll just worry about... Worry about getting the tenth records of eminence from that, unless we get aggroed from something. Okay, so we should be approaching H seven. There's a tree ant in here. We'll just ignore that. We're looking. Oh, there's some. Oh, there's an elemental here too. There's a harvesting spot. Wow, there's all kinds of stuff around here. Let's. Quest, objective, harvesting, bafu thickets, let's do that. So this is... I think this is the one where we need the sickle. Eastern ginger root. Now, we're looking for one of those little triangle kind of things. We're looking for an area around some bushes. Hmm. I didn't want to get too close to the... Yeah, we're aggroed. Okay, the old Entriant is going to be our... Tenth monster. Let's see if we get some sort of ring or something. We got a tower shield. That sounds kind of cool. Let's check that out. Our current one is defense is 14. So it's more defense. But it's kind of ugly. Yeah, and that's nowhere near as nice as our, <laughs> our royal knight shield. So we'll stay on that. That's how vain we are. So, where is this spot? We're looking for a little... Qu one of those question mark kind of spots. Oh, I saw a harvesting spot point. Yeah, another one. Probably a lot of those around here. Um, a vision, a vision ruit. Hmm. I'm at the wrong spot. I'm supposed to be at I-8. Why did that happen? Oh, God. So we went past it. Oh, my God. Damn it. Oh, well.
All right, so this was where the question mark area was, around here somewhere. We went past it, right past it. So let's see, it's around here, somewhere where there's bushes. We might have to fight a few more of the pink Marlboros. I just don't know what to say. I've been looking everywhere. Oh, there it is. Wow, that was hard to find. So it's right near the entrance when we come in. There's these bushes. You check the question mark spot. Well, that was hard to find. Yeah, it was right at the entrance on the right. What the heck? All right, Alcander, you, you're, you're that adventurer. Leave me be, I'm done for. Alright, so this little bug here. A plague chigo, let's fight it. Seems to be fast. I can barely see what's going on here, but I think that's part of that's sort of the point. Okay, so we're ready now. Now it's gonna die. Now what do we do? Click this again. Thank you, I am in your debt again. Although your effort may have been in vain, there is not much. Alcander! Tinga! What are you doing out here? You could get hurt. Thank you for saving him. Tinga? I knew something was wrong, even when I was causing all the trouble, so you'd come and see me. You were trying so hard to get me into that guild. I couldn't take it no more. All that worrying about what's gonna happen to me after you go away? Think about living instead. I don't want you to go. Tinga? I became so afraid when I could no longer wield a sword. I felt so alone, even though I know that's not true. I've been saying this whole time how I want to save you from your fate. But I had it wrong. Tinka, you're the one who saved me. You're right. There's still time for me. I can't just give up. Somewhere in this big, wide world, there must be a cure for my illness. And you. This is for saving my life. I hope it aids you in your adventures. You really should learn a trade, Tinga. You have to learn to stand on your own two feet. 
Okay. All right, and this is a little unfortunate, but oh, okay, we got some money. Yeah, I think um, he would give you. Yeah, he would give you a map of Kad uh, Kadarva Mire. If I hadn't have already bought one, I think, from the town. But uh, because we had already bought the map, he gave us 2,000 gil instead and 2,000 experience. I don't know if maybe we're supposed to get those as well as the map. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'd rather have the experience and the gil anyway. Okay, so now we're going to go back forward to where we were, where we fought that tree ant. Okay, so we want to head to F8. Mm, so that's actually a different way than we were going. <laughs> Easy to get turned around here, isn't it? So, yeah, we're going to just head west. And we're basically heading to this area, I guess. Because we want to head into Halvung. Alright, so let's fight some more uh, pink flamingos as we go. So these are actually called Colibri, and these are lesser Colibris. I guess we'll be seeing some greater Colibris later on. Those ones will give better experience. quite a pretty area. It looks like very much like autumn. Which I like. That's one of my favorite times of the year. Alright, so just head straight west basically. Looks like there's a tiger on our way. Maybe we can avoid it. Oh, where are we going here? We can go up this way. Mm-hmm. As long as it's west, no. All right, we're doing pretty good. So yeah, eventually we want to head to F8. Is where we're sort of heading. Oh dear. Oh, there's something big up ahead too. Okay, let's get rid of these. What is that up there? Oh, well, we're gonna find out. Let's get rid of these tigers first. And... the other one. Majom Tiger. Okay, so what is this? This is a Marid. Looks like an elephant. Hmm. Kind of interesting looking. A Marid, cool. A bunch of them around here. Chigo. Oh, there's another one of those, yeah, ticks down there. Gross. Hmm. That's kind of fun, so let's keep heading. Let's do one more. Mered.
Alright, so I want to go south after this. red tusk and some chimera blood for some reason so we get 800 experience for uh, doing 10 monsters in this area with the rectangle so that's pretty good um oh I was supposed to go south not down this way Let's continue another toucan flamingo Hummingbird. So, now we're gonna go west. <clears throat> Should probably do an inventory sort. Ah, we're doing alright. There are 50 out of 80. Music is cute. Mm -hmm. This little open area here. A cool little fortress. I don't think. Well, maybe we are going there. We're looking for a tunnel. See where it's F9. Um. Yeah, but we want F8. Mm -hmm. The tunnel must be through this tower. I don't know. Let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. I did so much talking at the uh, White Gate there, or Port Al Zabi, whatever it's called. Voice is a little bit hoarse now. Let's see, yeah, this has got to be like an entrance that goes down. Let's just see if we can even go in. Hmm. No, that's locked. So, where do we go, huh? Enter a tunnel in F8. Wow, a common theme here that we seem to be going through in this area is we, we, we're going past it and I have to keep going back, but that's okay. Yeah, it's just actually up here we kind of went past it. The cave is close. So, no big deal. Just go right down this way and to the left. Oh, these are new. These look like caterpillar kind of things. I'm not going to fight those though. Crawlers. And then what's this? Oh boy, this is new. These are trolls. Troll surveillance. All right. Wow, a new kind of monster. Yeah, we gotta fight a few of these. Yeah, I don't think I need to use my TP yet. Well, I mean, well, okay, let's do it. Let's do our favorite Savage Blade and end this. That was <laughs> silent. Silent but deadly. Troll automaton. Oh, it's there. Yeah, get used to seeing this thing. This kind of doll. It's sort of a big thing here on these islands. There's a whole job class revolving around this thing. Yeah, we'll get to know it well. So there's no sneaking around here. These things all aggro us. It's just fine. This is a shield bearer. Right, but this is the entrance to the cave that we want to be. Yeah, this is perfect.
Holy smokes, this guy's tough. I should have saved the Savage Blade for this guy, but that's okay. He's almost down. There we go. Yep, even gives us a little money and experience. Let's enter this new area here. This cave leads to... Alright, this is Halvung. Wow, look at this. Holy smokes. <laughs> Hi, Karumba. But luckily I know exactly where to go. Alright, so I'll just uh, re do the trust. It's a survival guide. Here we are. Now we can come here whenever we want. Where are we going? Well, we're gonna go down, basically down to this and this exit to Mount. How do you say it? Mount Zayom. So that's where we're heading. We're basically heading down southwest. Yeah. So we'll let me just look at the map here. So basically, yeah, we'll just basically always be going left. Mm-hmm. Until here. Yeah, basically, till there, then we turn right. Anyway, let's just see what happens. Let's see what we find on the way. I'm going to just run past things. We, I, I brought some silent oils, so we can always sneak our way through this. Oh, darn it. Volcanic bats, so that's annoying. I don't want to fight bats, so if we're aggroing every set of bats, then I probably will use some oils. What's the... Oh, there's one of those guys up ahead. One of those aardvarks. I think. Is it a monster or an NPC? I guess we're going to find out. Ah, let's get rid of these annoying bats. All right, let me just see what this is all about. So is this a, a monster? N uh, yeah, I guess he is. Incredibly easy. Was he going to do anything? <laughs> I guess we should just kill one to see what kind of drops it might give. I don't know if I'm supposed to kill these or not, but... It's pissed now. Well, it gives a little experience. Okay. Let's look at the map. Oh, well, I already broke the first rule, didn't I? We're supposed to go every left, and we didn't. Alright, I'll be a, a little more diligent here with the directions. So, yeah, let's head down this way, all the way down until we cross some water, it looks like, and then we're going to turn left. <clears throat> if I see any more yeah okay I'm using oils purgatory bat volcanic bats yeah I don't like those Crawlers with little blue sparkles coming out of their mouths. Oh, they're sleeping. That's what it is. It's Zeds. <laughs> That's funny. So they're sleeping. So let's just leave sleeping dogs alone. There's a troll. Should we fight it? Nah. We already fought one of those. Here, let's do this one. Well, no, 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 no. I don't want... It's too late. I forgot about my silent oil. We lost it now. 
Anyway, that's okay. We can use another one. <laughs> yeah, we're going the right way, though. So, yeah. So, there's a lot of these little stations that we're trying to get to. There's, like, five of them. We only have to go to one of them, though, to prove our courage to... What's her face? Um, Naja Salima. Salahim, pardon me. Naja Salahim. Um, are we going the right way? South. <laughs> okay. Let's not screw this up now. No more fighting. Okay, we'll fight later. Try and just get through this. What's that? What is that? Arctic mirror? Well, the troll saw us or heard us. Hmm. All right. I guess we're gonna have to do more fighting then around here. Yeah, so I wonder what that mirror is. I wonder if that's, like, a monster we can fight. Troll Lapidaris. Alright, let me just check this out. Attack? <sighs> okay. What is gonna happen here? Who knows? So... I found an archaic mirror. It is a non-stackable item. A magical ancient mirror excavated by the beastmen. Hmm. Wonder if that will come in handy. It's ours now. Alright, so I'll just try and avoid some of these trolls, I guess. And run past the crawlers. That are sleeping. Alright, we're doing good. So we're gonna... Oh, really? He was right behind us all along. <laughs> okay, you're dying. That is one hideous looking troll. Now the automaton. Poor little things. Too bad we couldn't just shut them off. I don't really want to fight it, but it'll probably just keep following us and attacking us. Alright, so let's continue on our journey. Oh, here's another... Here's a mining point. Wow, we're starting a lot of these... Oh, we're all full though. Let's see here. What can we eliminate? Well, the L we're done with the LDM Necropolis, so that one's got to go. Yeah, and I actually forgot to put on the regional. Um... Troll pauldron. Okay, so now we want to go left and then right. 
Here's a Friar's Lantern. We'll probably get some bomb ash or something from this. <laughs> what did I say? Pinch of bomb ash. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to do some of these crawlers because I forgot about the records of eminence, of course, so. Let's just kill some of this meat for some experience. Gate. I wasn't expecting a gate. Okay. That's fine. If we can get through. Thank you. This is a really cool looking automaton. It's got a little feather in its cap and everything. Very cute. But it looks pretty deadly. Engraver, huh? Yeah, they look a lot like the aliens from that. Um, is it Jupiter Ascending? No, 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 no. It was called something else. Oh, what was it? Oh, Black Pudding. Yeah, that looks like the jellies that I know from Final Fantasy. Not like the other oozes and stuff that we found in like the Bostonio Oubliette and stuff, those kind of jellies. These look more like the jellies. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, these guys are probably more weak against magic. They're probably strong against physical attacks. They usually are. No match for us, though, at level 99. Let's fight a few more. Why not? Um, yeah, we're going the right way. We're just going to keep going down this way, and then we're going to turn right. Three more monsters. Nice. Looks like we have... This is a smelter. A troll smelter. Oh, what was that movie? That's gonna bug me now. I can't remember it. I'll be able to add it in editing. So that's nine. So here we are. Here's one more. This black pudding will give us a little prize for our, from our records of eminence. We got a puppet master's testimony from that last battle. Wow. We've gotten a lot of those testimonies from all over the world. All right. So there we are. We got a merit belt. It's a level, pretty high level belt, actually. Uh, Paladins can wear it. Hit point recovered while healing, plus one. Mm, I've seen that ability before. And defense seven. Let's see how that matches up to what we're currently using. Defense is five, so that could be better, actually. Defense five, but it also, our original one gives us a strength plus two. Hit points. Too bad this didn't have a strength increase. It has hit points, dexterity. Hmm... Interesting, huh? 
Recovered when healing, plus one. That's could be useful. I might as well put it on. It is a higher defense overall. Sure. Not very often we get one of those free items from Records of Eminence that we end up using. Are we going the right way? Yep, we want to go... West. So, I think we snuck around them. Are we going? Yep, that's the right way. All right, we did it. We got our records, our records of eminence and everything. So now we're heading out. To, we're heading into another area, Mount Zulum. We can just run past them. So we're gonna be zoning anyway. So let's just forget it. Alright, Mount Zeom. So we're in a new area. I'm really tight on space and my records of eminence, so first thing I'm going to do is just uh, eliminate that conflict, especially now that it's at 0 out of 10 and it's all completed. Um, here we go, Mount Zeom. And bring the trusts back. All right, let's look at the map here. So, a new sp new place, Mount Zoyom. So, where do we want to go? First, let me get rid of all this dialogue so we can see the map fully. Okay. Hey, everybody. Uh, unfortunately, we had a little bit of uh, technical difficulties, and I lost a whole bunch of footage. Basically, all of the Mount Zoyom, or however you say that mountain, that whole section just is lost. We didn't didn't record. I don't know why. But basically, we got to our destination, which was just one more section after where we were. It didn't take very long. We'll go there again someday. I'll explore that area and show it. But basically, we got to an area where we met a guy... Um, and he was right by a little, a, a new kind of telepoint, uh, a place where we can teleport. And the teleport, uh, takes us here. It returned us back to the, um, chamber, chamber of passage. And then, um, I just came back here to talk to Naja Salim, and she, we basically had to sign ourselves into slavery with her, <laughs> and... Uh, we are basically, uh, she tells us that we are to start assault missions. And then she also gave us this, uh, PSC Wildcat badge. Which I guess we can look at that real quick. Oh, I'm so disappointed I lost that footage. That really upsets me, but and nothing I can do about it. It's done. Um, I guess we can look in to see, maybe we can get, uh, there might be a bard that can re-show us. Uh, here it's a temporary one. A bronze private second class mercenary badge from Salahim Sentinels. A scintillating moat carp is emblazoned in its center. Oh, yeah, it occurred to me too that I could at least show the dialogue from uh, what happened. So, yeah, basically started around here. I brought the supplies package. You can pause this to read this if you really want to. And then when I came back, there's the conversation with Naja Salahim. She went a little crazy on us. <laughs> yeah, and I was also able to go back far enough to show this. So after getting the records of eminence for Mount Zoyom, we got a peace cape, which is actually an item I have no use for. It is, uh, where is it? Here I'll, here, I'll show you through here. I, yeah, I, I, uh, the paladin can't wear it. See, it's blued out. So I'll probably just sell that. Level 66 cape, so I might be able to get a pretty pretty penny for it. We'll, we'll just have to see. 
Yeah, so she told us where to go to start the assault missions. So that's what we're going to do in the next episode. Well, we've done enough for this episode. We did a lot. We explored Whitegate here and every, you know, the whole port area. Talked to tons of people. Accomplished a few missions. Ugh, it was a lot. And we made a bit of a journey with a bit of a bumbling mistake at the end. Oh, well. These technical difficulties happen sometimes, right? There's nothing you can do about it. I just have to sort of move on. Uh, there was At least it wasn't a boss battle or anything. There wasn't any kind of battle. It was just, yeah, we just got to that location. And like I said, we'll be able to show that again sometime. The, the, the journey there. Yeah, we'll look, uh, we'll investigate more of Mount Zolm. Zolm? <laughs> but that's everything for now. So in the next episode, we'll be looking into the assault missions. So thank you everybody for watching my video today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking the link below. I'm Oko, and I'll see you all on the next episode of our playthrough of Final Fantasy XI. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one. Bye for now.